What's up, y'all? So today, speaking on the homie and the Hellcat situation. Um, yeah, um, homie, my my dude. You know what I'm saying? I started watching him a couple of years ago, and um. Uh, he blew up. I seen how he was spending money. I didn't know how he got his money. It wasn't none of my business, right? But uh, after a while, he let it be known he was in the uh, uh, bootlegging, basically. You know what I'm saying? Like cross scenes, letting people watch uh, uh, cable television for a certain fee. But whatever, you know what I'm saying? I don't know all the logistics of that, but I'm just touching on it like, damn, you know, he caught 66 months and uh you know that's pretty crazy got his family and everything you know and uh but he knew it was coming you know what i'm saying you can't make 50 million dollars without somebody watching you or, or <clears throat> finding out looking in your business you know how that go they going they going to check you but uh Hey man, what can you say? You know what I'm saying? He gotta go do 66 months. Probably be out three years, three and a half, but that's fed time, so you gonna do most of that time. So I don't know what people talking about. Oh, you ain't gotta, he gonna be out in two years, yeah. But um, yeah man, on me in the Hellcat, you know, that dude had a whole bunch of cars, whole bunch of, um, jewels and everything living in life that's my dude you know what i'm saying i watched him religiously you know i like this grind motivated me you know he was motivating and you know had a lot of positive things to say he a good dude he liked to help people you know so yeah i don't know i mean it is what it is you know you know once once he get out i don't know how that situation gonna look like then but you know, when you go do time, man, things ain't gonna be the same. The feds came in and took all the stuff and he had to bounce back from that. Now he gotta try to back, bounce back from prison time. He was just saying on the interview, he was about to get into um, uh, rapping more. He was doing a deal with Tory Lanez. They had it on the table. It was just about to be signed and then Tory got locked up. So just unfortunate you know some sometimes things just ain't meant to be you know but uh i'm gonna support him still you know what i'm saying buy his merch or whatever you know he made a mistake he say he didn't know what he you know that he was doing anything wrong and, and and probably sincere you know who am i to judge who are we to judge so yeah i just want to come on and talk about that a little bit you know that's my that's that's my dude, you know what I'm saying? He cool, he real cool, he's a cool YouTuber, you know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, man, so y'all tell me what y'all think about this situation, the homie and the Hellcat. Uh, I can't speak too much on that, that's too deep for me, that's, that's above my, my pay grade, but I could just say it sad situation you know what i'm saying that's kind of crazy the way that all unfolded the way that man lost his life you know a lot of rappers man lost they lost their life behind some dumb stuff you know but uh yeah that's a very unfortunate situation you know i feel for that family you know like i say I ain't got nothing to say about the details and none of that. That ain't that ain't my business. I ain't I, you know I can't get into that. I wasn't there. I don't know. And uh, hey man, basically it is what it is. You know when it's your time to go, you're going. Period. It's already written out. So you know I just pray for that family and hope and I hope they be all right and all of the drama behind it get squashed or whatever and uh justice be done period that's all that is just want to see justice be done whoever did it they got the dude in jail that's it you know what i'm saying no more to speak on about that all right gang so i just want to come over and have that little discussion you know what i'm saying i was that was on my heart you know so till the next video man i'm gonna get sit here and do some work prepare for some uh, some more sessions 
and uh, move on. All right, that's what it is, guys. So I see y'all in the next video. Peace. Yeah, we push and pee, we push and pee. Yeah, we push and pee, cause them niggas know me. They call me out, the one, the two, the three. I got rocks on rocks on rocks on rocks. You niggas act like.